What's going on everybody? Jim Mint here. We're here with another CGC haul. I got a lot of great books in here. Some that I sourced from eBay, from the CGC forums, and from some people you may know. We're going to unbox these and take a look at them. Some minor keys, DC and Marvel. Before we jump into it, we do have a giveaway going on, so check this out. On our road to 100k subs, we're going to be giving out a couple of milestone giveaways. We have two full sets of the Boys Omnibus Volumes 1 through 6. So we're going to give away to two winners once we hit 92,500 subscribers. You just got to be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment below. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you more details on the giveaway. Alright guys, so like my last video, these are all kind of inexpensive keys that I like. They should be about $100 or so or, or less. So if I remember the prices, I'll try to let you know. Now, this was the first one that I got in, and it says fragile. Uh, and the whole time, I'm like, man, I hope this slab is not cracked. This box came in kind of thrashed. This was an eBay buy. But if it's damaged, you know what? I mean, I think I'm going to send a couple of these for reholders anyway. Because they have older labels. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so some bubble wrap. So that's a good sign. The thing with those flat rate envelopes is that um, they're good to, sh uh, to ship slabs, but they're not sturdy boxes. So you really got to pack enough packing material so that the box cannot be crushed. It's got to be impossible to get crushed. I don't want to hear people say, oh, damn, USPS smashed the box. Man, they don't know what's inside or care. You got to make sure it's unbreakable, like Bruce Willis. Let's check for any damages first. Yeah, I do see a crack on the side here. And this was a new case, too. But it's Man of Steel, issue 18, the first appearance of Doomsday. First full appearance. Yep. Always like this book. Used to be a very inexpensive book. I want to say like $50 in a 9.8, but I think I paid more around $100 for this. Maybe 80 something like that. The thing is with the eBay buys, they have tax now and then shipping, so it's like it adds up. So, I always like this cover. Well, one of the storylines that I got me into comics. It's like one of the first trade paperbacks I ever read. So, that's the first one. Man of Steel. Alright, here is one from our good friend, Very Gary Comics. You guys might have heard of him. So, uh, I saw him listing some books for sale. Had to hit him up and grab this one. Alright, so you might be able to tell from the back of the book what this is. But this is Batman The Killing Joke, another 9.8. Uh, this is the first um, printing. And actually, man, this case did get cracked and damaged. <laughs> what the hell, man? That is pretty surprising. Gonna have to try to send these things for reholder. So two out of two damaged and cracked cases. Man, that's crazy. All right, what's this one? This is the last one I was waiting on to do this haul. This was from the CGC boards. There are two books in this package. All right, this one was double boxed. This guy packaged really good. I would be surprised if these were damaged. This is Bubba Gump on the CGC forums. It's like one of those Russian nesting eggs, right? All right, this is a book uh, that I've never owned, and I always kind of wanted to add this to the collection. Inexpensive book. I think he was selling this one for $50. And it is an image comic from January of 1993. Pit number one. Looks great, no damage on the case, thank you. Uh, and I always like the artwork here, Dale Cohen art. Those big teeth, 90s extreme style. One of the uh, first image titles. Maybe I'll end up getting Young Bloods and Wildcats and those image books as well. Now this book, I think I spent a little bit more than fair market value. This book used to be a $50 book all day in 9.8. He was selling it for 150 shipped plus um, what was it, 55 shipped for the pit. So for $205, we got pit, 
and we got X-Men 4 9.8 first appearance of Omega Red that awesome Jim Lee cover with Scott Williams as well always really just like this book I've never owned one uh, for the collection for myself I've had one Gary donated one for the 30k subscriber giveaway if you guys remember that but uh, yeah man nice little key issue kind of a spec book too but I didn't really buy it for that I really just I might start picking up X-Men keys here and there but some of them have gotten so expensive even this one all right next up this was an eBay buy this uh, might have been my comic shop because uh, I think you know they're Lone Star comics and I had a package from them in my last haul video and they had a package in here with little corners and everything jeez looking like a statue got shipped all right so I spent 120 bucks on this So this was kind of like a book to companion with the first appearance of Doomsday. This is another DC kind of minor key issue. Uh, this is Superman 75, The Death of Superman. So this is the uh, one where it has the fold out page where he actually dies. Uh, also from January of 1993, same month and year as that Pitt book. But definitely love this cover. Uh, Dan Jurgens and Brett Breeding cover in art. Dan Jurgens story. You got that iconic cape on a stick like a flag. Very cool issue to pair with the first appearance of Doomsday. I didn't even know what GPA was on that. I just kind of was like, eh, 120 bucks, I'll buy it. All right, and then this one is from our friend uh, Four Comics, our friend Dennis. You guys might remember him. He's been on the show a few times. And I got four slabs from him. I didn't get anything major from him, but um, I only remember what two of the books were. Maybe three. Let me see, let's see what they are here. So this first one, yeah, this is an older label. Yeah, this is a fun book, man. This is <laughs> Sleepwalker number one, 9.8. This old case looks super dated now, too, that I'm looking at this. This was funny because... Uh, when I used to have comics as a kid, I would look at look at the back of the Marvel Masterpieces and see what the character's first appearance was. And I don't know why I would be like, well, let me check my box to see if I own any. And this was the only one that I owned. And then the second print of New Mutants 87, which is the first appearance of Cable. So I was always like, oh, cool, I have a first appearance. The book was never really too valuable, but I always liked the cover. I always thought it was a cool book and a cool character. I actually used to own the whole run of this. And I, I read it, uh, first issue to last issue. So uh, I figured I'd pick it up. You don't really see it too often. All right, here's another one from Dennis. That's right. So this is Silver Surfer, issue 50. This is like the anniversary issue with Thanos on the front. It's got that um, kind of foil, shiny Silver Surfer logo with him on the board. These old cases, man, look super foggy. I'm definitely going to have to send all these old cases in with those crack slabs to get a reholders but I thought this was cool and uh, actually I didn't include this book in my uh, other haul video because it was still in the mail so I, I did include this one in a what's in the box but since it's a CGC haul I kind of uh, got these to pair with each other Silver Surfer 75 this is same kind of uh, hologram foil cover anniversary issue but now we got 75 and 50 Alright, next up, this is kind of a funny book. I've never owned this one, and this is actually a, a new case. But I feel like it's a spec book. Everyone feels like this is super underrated. Uh, Dark Hawk issue one from March of 1991. First appearance of Dark Hawk. Um, yeah, I mean, they kind of used him again in what? Was it Annihilation or one of those storylines with the whole Raptor thing? It was pretty cool. I've never owned this book. I really, as you can see, like this era of comics, so I thought, hey, might as well throw it in the pile. And the last one, it's another DC key. I've never owned this book, although it's always been super affordable and I never really understood why, but it's Omega Men 3 from June of 1983, the first appearance of the main man, Lobo. So it doesn't really look like the Lobo we know and love on the cover, but um, this is the first appearance. It's always been super affordable, so I figured uh, we would pick this one up from Dennis as well so that is the haul super bummed about these broke cases man but you know what what are you gonna do we're gonna get a reholder in there and um, 
and go from there. Let me know what you think about the haul in the comments down below. And here goes the details for the giveaway that we got going on right now. All right, guys, like I said before, all you have to do to be eligible for these giveaways is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this video, and comment down below. Once we hit 92,500 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video where I promote this giveaway, use a random YouTube comment generator to pick two winners. One winner is going to get the comment cover set, the other is going to get the show cover set. The first place winner picks which one they get. So make sure that you are subscribed, like, and comment below. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.